Hi, I'm Lovis Schwenderling, and together with my co-author Florian Heinrich, I will present our contribution to the IEEE VR conference, 2D versus 3D, a comparison of needle navigation concepts between augmented reality display devices. In this paper, we investigated AR-assisted navigation support for needle-based minimally invasive surgery. Minimally invasive surgery refers to procedures in which tissue injuries are minimized using small or no skin incisions. This reduces pain and leads to faster recovery, but is more challenging than open surgery due to the altered visual and haptic feedback. In clinical practice, these interventions are often performed freehand with imaging control, for example, using CT scanner. However, the medical image data is displayed separately from the patient. The radiologist has to divide the intention between the patient and the image data, which is mentally demanding. Surgical navigation systems with needle tracking provide direct feedback on tool placements, resulting in reduced intervention time, less radiation exposure, and increased accuracy. However, the information is still separated from the patient. Here, AR can be used to display navigation visualizations directly on the skin. Different AR display devices and navigation techniques have been investigated before. However, little research is done on the effects of display types and visualization concepts. Therefore, we compared combinations of three different visualization types with two display devices. The first visualization type is the explicit navigation aid. Information on the correct needle placement are visualized with a two-dimensional glyph. Based on related work, a crosshair-shaped glyph was selected. Insertion angle and depth are displayed separately by position of the inner circle, filling and the color. The display device is used by the HoloLens 2, here called HoloLens, and a stereo projector system. For each display device, the view is shown with correct angle and depth orientation. In the column Unity, the visualization can be seen in the development environment. The second visualization type is the axis path concept. Correctly rotated and positioned 3D models of the interventional needle are shown with the tip in the target, higher needle, and the insertion point, lower needle. The real insertion tool has to be aligned with the virtual models. The third type, see-through visualization, provides more interactive feedback than the path, but less than the glyph is. An extrapolation of the needle is rendered to help with tool orientation. Insertion and target points are displayed, but no other feedback on the accuracy of the needle placement is given. To support spatial perception, a virtual window is used in which the surface is displayed with a grid. These concepts were compared in a user study, which will be explained by my co-author, Florian. To evaluate our introduced concepts, we conducted a within-subject design user study with 24 participants. We investigated two factors, the visualizations and the display techniques. The study setup can be seen on the right. Participants have the task to repeatedly insert a needle into a phantom with respect to the displayed navigation information. Each subject completed 18 total insertions, three for each individual experimental condition. The starting display was alternated and the order of visualizations was randomized between participants. We measured the task completion time, the target error and the subjective difficulty on a custom Leica item. Additionally, a semi-structured interview was conducted to obtain qualitative feedback. So let's have a look at our main findings. For the task completion time, we can observe that the glyph list took the most amount of time, while path width was fastest. No differences could be found between the display types, but we experienced a significant interaction effect on this variable. Glyph width was fastest using the projector, and see-through was faster using the HoloLens. For the target error, we observed somewhat reversed effects. The glyph width showed the least errors, while path width was significantly less accurate. Needle insertions were also more accurate using the HoloLens, but this might be caused by an interaction effect. While the display type had basically no effect on glyph width and see-through, the pathless concept performed way worse using the projector. Let's conclude our talk. 
Regarding the visualization concepts, we found out that the glibvis was the most precise, but slow. The see-through concept showed promising results with a nice compromise between time and accuracy. As for the display devices, 3D visualizations were more difficult to perceive with a projector, but the HoloLens was less ergonomic. All three visualizations showed different amounts of interactive feedback, which may have influenced our results. More feedback apparently led to higher accuracy and longer procedure times. This should be investigated more. Results may be limited by a time accuracy trade-off, a missing evaluation of registration accuracy, and line-of-sight problems of the used optical tracking camera. Future work should look into improving the see-through concept with more interactive feedback elements and could also explore alternative display devices. The take-home message of our talk is that visualization concepts with more interactive feedback are recommended for higher accuracy outcomes. These are the references of our talk and with that we would like to thank you for your attention.